Now let's say I wanted to add subs to this clip right here. I have to set an in and out point. Then go to timeline, AI tools, and create subtitles from audio. In this pop-up window, I can choose my settings, some useless, useless to people that edit for YouTube, and basically click create. That's great. In a second, we have subtitles. Nice. Obviously, these subtitles are not going to cut it in most cases so we need some type of animation and before this update we didn't have any native way to do it every method relied on third-party software i have a bunch of videos on those so you can check them out but now we do have in-house animations so in the effects panel under titles we have a new section called animated these are five presets that you can just drag and drop and get somewhat good results now all looks fine until we notice that we need the subtitle clip to be extended and the other ones shortened with the animations effect on. That's right, Resolve just crashed. For some reason, this movement crashes the new DaVinci Resolve 20 beta. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, sometimes it's in the first try. This video is an answer to a comment that was left on one of my previous videos. Is DaVinci Resolve 20 error free? It's not. This is just one of the most annoying bugs that I have encountered. But there are more. Sometimes it doesn't let me add stuff to my timeline. It needs restart. It crushes when trying to manage clips that have the music editor changes made on it. Well, the last one has been taken care of with the new beta 2 version. Here you can see the many issues addressed in the new version. But I also had issues downloading this beta 2, but that's probably on a local level. You didn't have that issue, did you? I didn't see the specific subtitle thing that I have to be fixed here. So I'm just adjusting captions individually or make the adjustments before adding the animation. But the moment I try to edit them both with effects, we crash again, which is simply inconvenient. If it wasn't for all of these new AI features and most importantly, the new keyframes editor, I would have probably waited before updating. Like I've said in my first video on the new beta version, I don't update before it's fully released. It's too unstable and issues occur from places you wouldn't expect them to. Regardless, some of the new tools are insane and they will just get better. And one of the problems that were actually taken care of are around the new keyframes editor. But what's the keyframes editor you might ask? Click here to see. Subscribe and I'll see you there.